everybody, my name is Gabrielle Moses. If you don't know me or my content, I do a lot of vlogging or day in the life type of videos. So that means I'm always having content to edit or videos to put out. And I actually just recently made the switch from Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere because I heard a lot about features that not only save time but are super fun to use. And today I'm super excited to show you guys some of the features that I have been enjoying a lot lately. If you've ever edited a video with dialogue with music under it, you'll likely benefit from Premiere's auto ducking feature. Auto ducking will automatically duck the volume of your sound effect, your music, or whatever. Doing this manually is super time consuming, but doing it automatically sounds way more more fun. I'm excited to show you what it's all about, so let's jump in. Okay, so here we have some parts of one of my most recent videos and a music track under it. I have the video portions placed where I want them to be with the music, but the music is way too loud and you can't really hear what I'm saying. So this guy comes up to me and he's like, I've been like seeing you around this gym. Instead of turning the volume down manually or making keyframes with the pen tool, I'm going to let Premiere do all the hard work for me. So under window, there's a little tab that you might not know about called Essential Sound. From there, click on your music track and assign it with the appropriate music label. Now you've got some options for your music track. Right away, the preset is set to default, which doesn't actually do anything until you start poking around. Loudness is checked automatically, and if you click on that, you can auto-match the loudness of your music to standard average of loudness, which will lower the volume of your music track automatically for you. Under loudness, there is a duration checkbox, which will allow you to adjust the length of your audio based on the total time, which is kind of cool, especially if you need something to be exactly 15 seconds for social media. Then, under that, we have our ducking options. Right away, it is set to duck against dialogue, so I'm gonna highlight my dialogue and assign it to the right dialogue label. This will also open up a ton of options, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to click back onto my music track and then click generate keyframes just using the default options. If you look at the audio track, you can see that Premiere automatically put in volume duck and keyframes, and I can adjust these and regenerate, which will change the automation until it's perfect. There we go. This is looking good now. The audio comes up when no dialogue is present and gets ducked away when I'm talking. And I only have to adjust a few things. What's nice about this is I can add more onto my video and just regenerate those keyframes easily. You can always come in and adjust them manually if you need, but the auto setting typically works great. Clicking back on my dialogue track, I have a bunch of additional options to choose from if I want to enhance my dialogue in any way. I'm not gonna go crazy in detail about all this stuff since I don't nearly know enough about how it works yet. But I will definitely encourage you to play around with all these sliders and presets to see if they're going to work well for your project. Playing with some of the presets is always a good place to start. It turns out that he does like IT stuff. So if you're like me and you make longer videos with a lot of dialogue, auto ducking is super helpful whenever it comes to balancing sound effects and music. What would normally take a really long time and be really annoying is pretty much painless with Premiere. I don't have to know how to be an audio engineer to engineer my own audio, which is a huge plus. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you consider switching to Adobe Premiere if you have not already. And so if you guys want any more tips, be sure to subscribe to this channel for some more Adobe helpful tips and tricks. And if you'd like to find me, all you have to do is search Gabrielle Moses on all social media platforms and on YouTube.